The two women suing Bachelorette star Demario Jackson for alleged sexual assault are pleading with the judge to allow their case to move forward despite being unable to find the reality star, RadarOnline.com has learned. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the accusers hired a process server to track down Jackson. The women said the server found Jackson lived in Los Angeles. The server was unsuccessful in his first attempt at the residence. Jackson's accusers said a stakeout on defendant's residence was ordered next. The reality star never appeared for the filing. The server attempted to serve Jackson several times between November 2022 to December 2022. The women then tried a skip trace, which is a professional process used to trace someone who may be difficult to find. They said all their efforts were unsuccessful. A lawyer representing the alleged victims recently asked the court for permission to serve Jackson in an alternative method. He proposed publishing an advertisement in the Los Angeles Times to put Jackson on notice of the case. The judge has yet to rule. As we previously reported, last year, Jackson was sued by two women over alleged sexual assault. The accusers used the pseudonyms Jane Doe No. 1 and Jane Doe No. 2 in the complaint. The women not only accused Jackson of assault, but false imprisonment and intentional infliction of emotional distress. They are seeking unspecified damages. In the lawsuit, Jane Doe No. 1 said she met Jackson on a dating app in 2019. The 25-year-old said the reality star grabbed her and then exposed himself at the end of their first date. He apologized and she agreed to meet him again, the suit alleged. On another night, Doe No. 1 said Jackson met up with her at a bar. She said he took her home and sexually assaulted her. Doe No. 1 said she was forcefully sexually assaulted. She said she went to the hospital the following morning for a rape kit. Jane Doe No. 2 said she met Jackson with privately chatting on social media. She claimed he invited her to his home for a date. She said Jackson forced himself onto plaintiff, despite her demands, to stop. While Jackson has yet to respond to the case in court, he denied the allegations in a statement to Entertainment Tonight. For years ago, I, Demario Jackson, walked directly into the Los Angeles police station after being falsely accused of raping two white women without a lawyer present and the police let me freely leave, he said. Here is why, my arriving and departing Uber receipts proved when, where, and the time I was with these women and the truth is my receipts proved I was completely out of the vicinity, he added. In addition to that, I provided screenshots of text message communication the day after they filed police reports. The authorities looked at all my evidence and let me, a six-foot, four inches tall, black man, leave that precinct without a doubt because I did no wrong. I am innocent, I did not hurt or harm those women. The lawsuit was filed five years after Jackson and her Bachelor in Paradise co-star Corinne Olympios were the center of a sexual misconduct investigation over an incident on set.